very funny. You stole my heart, you intercepted it. <laughs> now you're gone, have to accept it. Did I meet your mom too soon? <laughs> Or did I do what I always do? Yeah, we made it to the 50. <laughs> and then you kissed me. We made it to the 40. A new love story. We made it to the 50. Somebody, obviously, yeah. and uh, yeah. AI Taylor. It just makes her sound a little younger than she is now. But that's like her style and everything. That's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, AI yeah, is uh, oh, pretty did incredible. Did you put that on social or is it on? No, no, not yet. No, yeah. it's, it's out there, but I'll, I'll retweet on the Roger and Yeah, uh, let's steal it. Make socials. Out. That's awesome. <laughs> Doug, Doug's all live for <laughs> Hey, Doug, Roger, JP, what's going on? <laughs> Hey, you know, also the big promotion of Taylor Swift, if you would happen to notice, is also a marketing ploy to get the younger people to watch. If you notice some of the commercials, they were geared to the younger kids. Tell us more. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, they're they're all they're all just they're trying to cross everything. She's she's as big as the she's bigger than the NFL probably. So cross the two. Right. I mean, it's just yeah, endless yeah, eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, to get the young people in interested in watching the NFL. And, well, yeah. all Swifty ladies. That, they're talking about, yeah. hey, thanks for the call, man. So they're talking about, remember that deal where she was trying to get the movie done for the um, the Eras tour, the movie? Mm -hmm. They talked about it here, and she couldn't get the uh, the deal done because she didn't think it was fair, the way the movie the movie company, so she went and produced the whole thing on her own, Yeah, spent $20 million, then dealt with another company they get a flat fee of 45 million for getting the movie out there and put it into the theaters and all this other stuff they're expecting a, a hundred million dollar opening weekend a hundred million a hundred million dollar box office opening weekend it's nothing she does that isn't big i mean it's just that's just the bottom line so take the 45 out that leaves with 55 million on the 20 million dollars oh, so she's going to get her 20 million back and another 55 million opening weekend <laughs> Opening weekend, that's before it streams, before it does anything else, before and Netflix is calling for it, or whatever the hell, Hulu's calling for it, or whatever it is. Man, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I was thinking it was the Madonna thing, or the boy bands, or whatever the hell it is, but man, I don't think any of us have seen anything like this. Maybe Beyonce, but... I don't know. And if you think about Ryan Reynolds in that same uh, football suite, who is a billionaire or two, two billion dollar guy. Is that what he's who, He has so much influence on, over so many things. The right. combination of him with Blake Lively and Taylor Swift, like their camps just being around each other, they must be thinking of things that they could do. Well, no, would just have people huge. are, they're probably oh, just hanging God. out and being friends and not really thinking too much about it, but their people are going, yo, Ryan, ask if she wants to start another booze company. <laughs> that trend thing took off like a bat out of hell. And Hugh Jackman's sitting there like, Oh, I hope I got a crumb out of this mess. Right. You <laughs> Jackman. Yeah. He's just and he's Hugh Jackman. Uh, yeah, he's just sitting there hoping for crumbs because he's going through a divorce. <laughs> he's gonna need a little something. Man, oh man. Let's see what they say Ryan Reynolds' net worth is. Three hundred and fifty million. Oh, three hundred fifty million? Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. He sold his company or or two of them or something for right, a million. Right, but he's still got Mint Mobile with this still trying to get off the ground and the aviation gin is another one of them. He's got Wrexham. You know, the the, yep. uh, the football club. Yeah, he's rolling. Yeah, man. Yep. Plus, he keeps yeah, making right. superhero movies. He's going to chill. Right. He's going to be all right. right. All of that talent in one, uh, one football suite. But anyway, today's show is going to be all Taylor all day. Listen, there's nothing else we should talk about. Let's be honest. Right. During commercials, if more than a minute goes by, we'll update you on something Taylor. And if you think we're not playing that Taylor Swift AI song again before the end of the show, you're crazy. Once a break, we'll be doing it. Monica, I feel you're less than enthused about our... Uh... Y'all have well, fun. Because uh, it's taken away from football, right? Everybody likes what they like. You like what you yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Yes.
yeah, yeah. You're cranky for somebody who just had a big win yesterday. I'm not. I'm. I'm literally. I'm saying enjoy. Like, how is that crazy? Yeah, but you're being facetious. You're being no, I'm, smart. No, I'm, I'm legitimately not. If I wanted to be a smart ass or whatever, I would have already said a million things. Like, you guys are having fun with it. Enjoy. What'd you think of Taylor's outfit? I don't even know what she wore. <laughs> I thought jeans was I'm an SJ choice. I think. I think her wearing jeans was like just trying to be the every No, jean shorts. Studded no. Daisy Dukes. Jean shorts. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, that's the phrase. Studded Daisy Dukes. Oh, look so at if that. we can work that into the show today sometime, just in any sentence, right. studded Daisy Dukes would be great. Oh, what do you think? I know what song we're coming out of spots with. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you that. Uh, Roger, JP, why don't you five?